So I thought I'd do something a little bit different and take some biofilms, algae, sand from my reef tank and check it out under the microscope. So let me know if you like this kind of thing and maybe I'll do some more in the future. Anyway, here it is. So this is from a film that was forming on the outside of my blue sponge. I've seen these kind of clear nematode worms before, but this is the first time I'm seeing these kind of reddish colored guys. You can see a lot of diatoms here. Let's take a closer look here. You can really see the diatoms better now. It's a little worm going through the biofilm. Looks like he might be sucking stuff up, I can't really tell. Looks like he might have little cilia on the front end there. Very soft body. He's a little guy, looks a lot less like a worm. Oop. Some kind of dinoflagellate maybe, or... I'm not really sure what that guy is. might be a cyanobacteria potentially, this kind of r red string thing. Let's get a closer look and see if we can see some individual cells. Yeah, so that's... I'm pretty sure that this guy is a cyanobacteria. So this sample was from the sand bed and I scooped up some sand and I just kind of agitated it in some water and then I took that water that had all the particles from the sand and I, centrif I centrifuged it down and then I put it on the slide so most of this is going to be sand particles but also whatever little critters or microbes were hanging out on the sand this is at the uh, lowest magnification so you can see that this uh, worm is actually pretty good size that's cool. Some kind of ciliated little guy. Looks like he might be trapped. See, is that better? Which one's better? Can't tell if he's trying to escape or, uh, just filter feed. So this is a sample that I pulled from my skimmer. I centrifuged it down to uh, to concentrate it, but so it's got these little guys swimming around in it, which is pretty cool. They're quite active. Oh, there we go. Okay, so, I mean, there's a little bit less diversity than I was really expecting uh, in the skimmate, but, and the bacteria are just a little bit too small to really get a good look at, but these guys are cool, so let's move on to the next sample. Okay, so here's an even closer look at some of the diatoms, so you can just kind of see their internal structure and some of their diversity of shapes. So diatoms can't move by themselves. 
So any movement you see from the diatoms is just random currents. And they have a silica exoskeleton, or test. This is a big one. Couple more. Diatoms also have bilateral symmetry, um, hence the name diatoms. Dia meaning two. Some of them also have radial symmetry, but radial symmetry is also bilateral, I guess. These are some older pictures I took on a different microscope. The first two are bryopsis algae, and the second two, I believe, are some kind of hair algae. This is some dried salt after the sample evaporated on the slide. Let me know what you think of this kind of video, if you think it was too long, too short. I have plenty of other samples I can look at, but I'm not sure how much other people like to listen to me look at things under the microscope. Okay, thanks.